Welcome to Al Hikmat Highlights for the September October 2012 issue of Al Hikmat Muslim Magazine. I'm your host, Salma Mohammed, bringing you the latest updates and views from community events such as Trinidad and Tobago, 50th Year's Independence Anniversary, and Edo Fitter 2012 at Dar al Ulum Institute, with many, many more activities and events. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Sheikh Shafai's message Light up your life with the Vicar of Allah. Summary of Khutbah written by Sister Karen Shah. Do you want more spirituality in your daily life? Do you want to feel closer to Allah, feel more loved by Allah, and feel more love for all of Allah's creation? Then read chapter 33, verses 41 to 46 of the Holy Quran to find the medicine and prescription. Allah commands, O ye who believe, remember Allah in great qualities and extol His limitless glory at morning and evening. The dhikr is like medicine and the prescription is to perform the dhikr at least every morning and evening. Some translators read this as from morning to evening, which means we should be remembering Allah at all times. What is dhikr? Dhikr is a spiritual practice of remembering God by reading Quran, praying extra salah, listening to a khutbah, and repeating beautiful phrases from the Quran that glorify God. Try, Subhanallah, Alhamdulillah, La ilaha illallah, and Allahu Akbar. Try repeating some or all of Allah's 99 beautiful names. Dhikr can be vocal or silent, done alone or in a group. Dhikr is not our five obligatory prayers, and dhikr is definitely not bidah. What did the, what did the Prophet ﷺ prescribe for the poor who cannot get blessings for giving charity? He told them to repeat 33 times SubhanAllah, to repeat 33 times Alhamdulillah, and to repeat 33 times Allahu Akbar after every first salah. What did the Prophet ﷺ prescribe for his daughter Fatima when she was having difficulty? To repeat these phrases every night before sleep? One hadith reports you should keep your tongue wet or busy. With the dhikr of Allah, another hadith reports that dhikr in is light and the tongue on the tongue but heavy on the scale of Allah. In verse 43, we learn the benefits of dhikr. Allah bestows his blessings upon you with his angels, echoing him, so that he might take you out of the depths of darkness into the nur. And Allah is full of mercy towards his believers. Nur means light, mercy, success, guidance, and an open path to the barakat of Allah. Dhikr removes darkness so we can see clearly and find our way to diffi out of difficulty, to find tranquility and peace. In verse 44, we are told on the day when they met him, they will be welcomed with the greeting, peace, and he will have readied for them a most excellent reward. Dhikr gives us a different status. It, it raises us to higher, level, higher levels in paradise. Dhikr is different from Salat. Don't follow a literal hardcore psalm that doesn't offer Dhikr as a prescription for peace. Reading Quran is Dhikr. Recite the 99 names of Allah. Repeat the beautiful phrases. Dhikr soften the, softens the heart, removes the rust, and purifies the heart. Muslims must become examples of peace and beauty and gentleness, not just on our tongue, but in our style, how we live and treat others. In verses 45 to 46, truly we have sent you, O Prophet, as a witness and bearer of glad tidings and warnings. And it is by Allah's permission that you are chosen as a lamp to spread the light of the Quran. We should all try to develop that light and to be a reflection of the light. Through the spiritual practices of zikr, we can be blessed with Allah's nur. We can be a reflection of Allah's love and compassion to the world. Make time for dhikr. It is not sunnah, it is a command from Allah. The Prophet ﷺ showed us how to do it. Congratulations to Aslam and Umar Bawani. Aslam and Umar Bawani were blessed with a baby girl, Zara Bawani. Zara was born on August 3, 2012 at Bravo General Hospital, Florida, USA. She is granddaughter of brother Rafiq and sister Margaret Bawani. May Allah bless her and make her make her among us righteous, inshallah. Congratulations to Ibrahim and Safiya Ramjan. Ibrahim and Safiya were recently married on Wednesday, July 18, 2012. The nikah ceremony was held at Darul Ulum Institute, Florida, USA. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless them with a prosperous married life, inshallah. Amen. Rabbi's Corner, failure to communicate with each other. I believe that a large part of conflict exists in the world because of a failure to understand each other. Whether it is in our businesses, in our homes, in our houses of worship, in our communities, in government, in the conflicts between nations, I believe that the 
that often the true sources of conflict is a failure to communicate with each other. To listen to each other, but more importantly to really express empathy to what others are saying. When we speak, we usually try to convince someone else why we are right. When we try to listen to another, we still often listen to what they say, but interpret in our terms of our own narrow context. We listen to what they say, dissect the thought, and argue back to prove that we are right based on what they say. We often think that the solutions we will be corrected if we communicate our own position better so that they understand us better. And then we decide what others really want and how that what they want is really what we want. And then we try to convince them of this fact without truly understanding what they really want. While solutions could be achieved through better communications, it needs to go back. It needs to go beyond just listening and responding to what we hear. It needs to be based on listening and then making every effort to truly understand what they want. When you put yourself in the mind of the person or community with whom you have a conflict and not merely interpret their position based on your own feelings but truly imagine what they are saying and why they are saying that, what are their life's experiences that led them to their opinions and feelings? Then suddenly a light bulb goes off and you begin to feel what they feel from their point of view and not your own. And then, when we, and then when you can begin to solve the conflict because instead of trying to convince them and others why you are right, instead you are understanding that their perspective is different and that the solutions come not from convincing them that you are right but imagining that you could truly want it if you were in their place. The next time you get into an argument with someone, try it. Don't just listen, respond and argue, but stop and think very hard for a while about what they are saying. Imagine that you are feeling the circumstances leading them to their positions. You must, you might just find that the, uh, your conflict is resolved sooner with less hard feelings and the relationship is enhanced by your se sincere efforts to understand the others. That truly is empathy. Community events. Republic of Trinidad and Tobago 50th Independence Anniversary. The Republic of Trinidad and Tobago held their 50th Independence Anniversary on Sunday, August 12, 2012 at the Broward Convention Center in Florida, USA. Brother Abzal Hussein received an award from TNT Ambassador Dr. Neil Parsan on behalf of Al Hikmet Services Inc. in the category of organizations. Sheikh Shafayat also received an award from TNT Consul General Dr. Anil Ramnanan in the category of community services. Brother Wayne Shah received an award from TNT Ambassador Dr. Neil Parson in the category of Business Development and Finance. Visit to Masajid, West Palm Beach, Alabama, and Tennessee. During the month of Ramadan, Sheikh Shafayat visited various masjids as a dawah project on behalf of Al Hikmat Services. The Sheikh was accompanied by Brother Wahid and Brother Shaheed. They met with the Imams and responsible brothers pertaining to Al Hikmat Dawah activities and Islamic publications. The Sheikh also delivered the Juma Khutbah at Baitul Mukarram Masjid and was also invited to do a fundraising for Baitul Mukarram Masjid in West Palm Beach, Florida on the 27th night of Ramadan. Edo Fitter 2012 at Dar Ulum Institute, Pembroke Pines, Florida, USA. On Sunday, August 19, 2012, Darulum Institute celebrated Eid al-Fitr. There was an audience of over 2,500 brothers and sisters. The Eid Qutbah was delivered by Sheikh Shafayat and the Eid Salah was led by Hafiz Muhammad Khan. Masjid Ibrahim, Riversdale, Jamaica. Alhamdulillah, Masjid Ibrahim in Riversdale, Jamaica is near completion, inshaAllah. Al Hikmat took the responsibility to complete the masjid one year ago, and Alhamdulillah, with the help of generous brothers and sisters, most of the major work has been completed, like the windows, doors, electricity, and wudu facilities, etc. A couple minor items are still pending. Donation towards this project could be sent to Al Hikmat Services Inc., inshallah. Email feedback USA. I love your magazines, very interesting and mindful. Phoebe from Florida, Asia. 
you have a very helpful web website to Muslims as well as non-Muslims. Keep it up and our duas are always with you. Muhammad from Sri Lanka, USA. I would like to get your magazine, Huria from Texas, USA. I would like to receive a copy of Al Hikmat, which is one of the best Islamic magazines. Umar from Tennessee. Voice of our readers. Dawa mailing list. I'm writing to request to be put on your Dawa mailing list. Can you forward your next issue to me and continue to forward them in a weekly or monthly basis? I will truly appreciate your publication and any other information that you have, inshallah. I thank you and await your prompt re response. Landra Russell, Texas, USA. 2002 Newsletter Dear Al Hikmat, I recently had the pleasure of viewing one of your old newsletters, 2002. I really enjoyed it and would gladly subscribe with you. Please forward me a recent copy. In advance, may Allah reward you for your efforts. Akil Telly, Mount Sterling, Illinois, USA. Al Hikmah Services Inc. recognizes Dr. Nazir Ahmed, surgeon, oral and maxillofacial, born in Chicago, Illinois, born the second son of 15 children, married with five daughters and five sons, studied in St. Mel High School, Chicago, Illinois, Miami Dade Community College, Miami, Florida. Florida Memorial College, Miami, Florida, Meharry Medical School of Dentistry, Nashville, Tennessee, General Practice Residency, Hubbard Hospital, Nashville, Tennessee, Oral and Maxofacial Surgery, Meharry Medical College, Nashville, Tennessee. Religious Activities Return to Practice the Religion of Islam, Resident Imam Masjid Al Ansar, Miami, Florida, Director of School, November 1977 to August 1986, and Personal Assistant to Imam W. D. Muhammad. Lectured in Kingston, Jamaica, Bermuda, Port of Spain, Trinidad, Barbados, West Indies, Georgetown, Guyana, Halifax, Nova Scotia College, Dr. Nasser met with heads of state in UAE, Abu Dhabi, Doha, and Qatar. He also met with King Khalid, Saudi Arabia, and President Anwar Sadat, Egypt. Thank you for joining us on Al Hikmah TV for the Al Hikmat highlights for September, October 2012. We hope you enjoy the show. And before signing off today, I would like to share with you some words of wisdom, which are, life consists not in holding good cards, but in playing those that you hold well. And always remember that only a life lived for others is a life worthwhile. When you live for others, they will live for you. I'm your host, Salma Mohammed. See you next time, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.